Continuing our coverage of Florida's faulty unemployment system now, today frustrated Floridians showing up to protests in three cities, including Tampa. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee follows up on some confusion over missed payments. Getting clear-cut answers from the Florida DEO isn't easy. I just think that the whole system is very jumbled and sometimes they don't even know what they're doing. And I think that's causing a lot of confusion between us and them. And it seems as one issue resolves, another pops up. I have not saved any federal payments since 519. And with so many others reporting the same issue, the DEO finally asked us to send in claimant IDs so they could see what was going on. They did eventually get back to us with an explanation, highlighting two technology concerns. The first, some people were not issued a federal check for the waiting week that was waived beginning March 29th, which DEO promises to issue within five days. It's heartbreaking that this is happening to so many people and people can't get their money. The second concern, DEO officials say people who requested their claims be backdated were, quote, not included in recent payment files for the CARES Act money. That's not something I signed up for. I didn't even know that was something that existed. Um, and it's something I definitely did not sign up for. So I don't understand why I'm still not receiving payments if I decided not to do back pay. We asked the DEO, but haven't received an answer. Modifying claims was made available May 1st, allowing Floridians that applied in March and April to be paid retroactively to when they lost their jobs, not to when they were able to apply. The DEO says folks who did modify their claim do not need to do anything at this point. They plan on getting those folks paid as quickly as possible. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.